In this video, we will talk about an important part of elbow, it is called, the cubital fossa. What is a cubital fossa? The cubital fossa is an anatomical region, located on the anterior aspect of the elbow, as its name says in Latin, cubitis, meaning, elbow. It is a clinically significant area, due to the vital structures that pass through it. What are the boundaries of the cubital fossa? The cubital fossa is a triangular depression, with clearly defined boundaries, superior boundary, an imaginary line, connecting the medial and lateral apocanteals of the humerus, medial boundary, the lateral border of the pronator tears muscle, lateral boundary, the medial border of the brachioradialis muscle, apex. It is directed downwards, and it is the point, where brachioradialis crosses the pronator tears muscle, floor of cubital fossa. It is formed by the brachialis, and supinator muscles, roof. It is formed by the skin, superficial fascia, deep fascia, and the occipital aponeurosis. What are the contents of the cubital fossa? The cubital fossa contains several important structures, arranged from medial to lateral. Its contents are, median nerve, brachial artery, biceps brachii tendon, radial nerve. It is also remembered by the mnemonic, MBBR. Now we will discuss the detailed anatomy of key structures, median nerve, origin. It is formed by the union of the lateral and medial cords of the brachial plexus, course. It descends through the arm, passing through the cubital fossa, and enters the forearm, brachial artery, origin. It is the continuation of the axillary artery, course. It travels down the arm, enters the cubital fossa, and divides into the radial and ulnar arteries, biceps brachii tendon, origin. It is the tendon of, biceps brachii muscle, insertion. It is inserted into the, radial tuberosity and bicipital aponeurosis, function. It flexes the elbow, and supinates the forearm, radial nerve, origin. It is made of the, posterior cord of the brachial plexus, course. It travels in the radial groove of the humerus crosses the elbow anteriorly, and divides into superficial and deep branches. Clinical significance, the cubital fossa is clinically important, for several reasons. Venipuncture, the median cubital vein is commonly used for drawing blood, and inserting intravenous lines, due to its superficial location and relative stability. The median cubital vein lies superficial to the, brachial artery and median nerve, arterial access. The brachial artery is accessible in the cubital fossa, for blood pressure measurement, arterial blood sampling, and cannulation. Nerve blocks. The median and radial nerves can be targeted for regional anesthesia and surgeries, involving the forearm and hand. Injury and trauma. Trauma to the cubital fossa can damage the brachial artery, median nerve, or radial nerve, leading to significant clinical complications, such as ischemia, loss of sensation and motor dysfunction.